G'day, I'm Nick Bowditch. Um, today I want to talk to you about the difference between trying to be great and trying to be better. The last couple of days I've had uh, a couple of people feedback to me that what they were really trying to do in their business and in their life was to be really great, to build something really great, to be known as someone who was really great, which is awesome, right? And I'm not going to talk them out of that. I'm, I'm, I'm not because, you know, it's nice to have dreams. If, you, if you're not dreaming, you're not moving. I, I, I totally get that. But it struck me also that there's a lot of pressure there as well. And, and when I feel that I want to do something great, that I want to create something great, that I want to build and sell and be something great, there's a lot of pressure, unnecessary pressure, that I put on myself there when, when perhaps... What I can think of instead is, or what I can try to be instead, is just be better. You know, I, I, I have this thing that I want to be, I want to wake up tomorrow and try to be better than I was the day before. A few months ago, <laughs> I had this thing of, I want to wake up at six o'clock tomorrow and be better than I was the day before. Well, life gets in the way of that. And sometimes I fuck that up and sometimes other people fuck that up for me. And so I, you know, and the environment does and the world does and my situation does and my kids do and, and all that. So I've just kind of taken a bit of a step back from that. And now what I try and do is focus on trying to be better than I was the day before. So I thought what might be a good exercise here is just think about the five things that I think about um, in being, in trying to be better instead of trying to be great. And please keep in mind while you listen to this that I'm not trying to rob people of being great. I don't want to take that aspiration away from people if they want to be great. I think that's awesome. But I just speak in the eye, right? I'm just talking about my own journey. And for me, these are the things that I do to try and make sure that I am trying to be better instead of trying to be great. The first one is that I'm trying to be really honest in the inventory I take of myself. I try to be realistic and set expectations on myself that I can both reach and measure. Um, but but I, I, I don't bullshit myself and I don't let myself have a pass on some days or on some things or whatever. If I'm going to be hard on myself about something, I will be. That's, that's how it is. I want to be honest and take a full and honest inventory of myself each day. Because otherwise, I'm not going to know if I'm moving forward. I'm not going to know if I'm getting better. Far less being great. So that's number one. Second one is that I try and think about, well, why do I want to improve? Now, not, I don't mean generally, but you know, at something, at a certain thing that I'm trying to be better at than I, did the last, than I was the day before. Why do I want to improve? Is that because my partner or my kids or my family or my friends or my community or my employer or my employees or whatever it might be are trying to, I want me to be better. I want me to improve or do I actually want to do it? Because I'm a pretty stubborn bastard. And unless I have that buy-in, unless I have some sort of self-interest invested in it, I'm really not going to try as hard as you know I might otherwise. So you know, I, th I think about, well, why do I want to improve is, is a really big step in this for me. The third one is what or who could possibly stop me from improving? You know, can the environment, can my partner, can my friends, can my clients, like what things are going to get in the way here of, of, try of me being better than I was the day before, if I'm at least aware of them, far less, you know, I'm not, I don't mean removing them or tackling them or arguing with them with them or confront, confronting them or anything like that, but just be aware of them. Just be mindful of the things and the people who are going to stop me being better today than I was yesterday. And, and, and keep that in my mind as I focus through trying to be better, um, knowing that, you know, I'm not the only person in this boat. The fourth thing is that I try and set small, measurable goals. Uh, I, you might notice there that I don't talk about setting goals that are attainable or not attainable, easy or hard to get, anything like that. 
but I want to set goals that I can measure my effort towards achieving. You know, is, is, is there a definable, tangible metric that says, yep, yeah, yesterday you were shit at this, today you're a bit better at it. Um, yesterday you argued with this person, today you were pleasant with them. Whatever it might be. I set small, uh, small measurable goals to measure myself against my improvement against the day before. And then the last one is, I have to remember each day to reset. Don't stop. If, if I stop learning, if I stop moving, if I stop improving, then I'm at the risk of going backwards or staying the same and staying the same for me is going backwards as well. I want to improve every day. I want to reset and go, right, I got there. I can keep moving forward. I can do something else now. I can be better tomorrow. And then after that, the day after that, I can be better again and so on and so on and so on. But if I rest on my laurels and if I sit the day today than I was yesterday, you know, and I'm still in the same spot, or, you know, I, I managed to achieve a goal and then I've given up or stopped moving, haven't reset, then I'm not really improving each day and that's where I really want to be. I really want to try to focus on being better as opposed to being great. There's a lot in, in the entrepreneurial world that a lot of you are in, and that I'm in, on the surface at least, reluctantly. Um, there's a lot of pressure coming from, you know, are you hustling enough? Are you doing the work enough? Are you doing 20 hour days? Are you trying to be great? Are you trying to build Tesla? Are you trying to build Facebook? Are you trying to be Zuck? Instead of us thinking about, well, are we just trying to be a better version of Nick Bowditch or Jenny Smith or John Jones? There's a lot less pressure and there's a lot more joy that comes from being better than you were yesterday as opposed to being great or building something great. Because for a lot of us, that won't happen. And that's a bit shit to hear out loud, but it's true. But almost every one of this, you know, you might never be great, but you can always be better. And I hope today you are better than you were yesterday. And I hope tomorrow you can try to be better than you were today if that's what you want as well. Because that's all I want. Have a great day wherever you are. It's Friday here in Australia right now. Um, so have a great Friday. If it's Friday, if it's Thursday for you, enjoy the rest of Thursday. And I'll talk to you soon.